Hallelujah. Ebeneza, atutwala wala. 
can be done. It was this God that delivered you. It was this God that saved you. Sitani we are yaku fuziza. Nakuzimye kaka yumba. Bible ye gamba. Mukama to mama mala ikabe. Never quit all ola. Tawari kabi kona. Kasobala kutu kako. No mwa kaku no mufia. Tawari kabi kona. Kagenda kutu kako. For the Lord our God puts a hedge around the righteous. That nothing bad might come to them. That they might not be attacked. And he gives them the power. He gives them the strength to overcome the circumstances. Aba wama ni nechisa. Oku wangu la yonevi balumba. Kakati tamu wama ni. Oku wamo yo yesu japu jewala. Hallelujah. Otu jewala.
You have promised us, oh God, that you will restore to us the years the conqueror must take it. The years the cooking will have us take it. The years the growing will have us take it. The years the army will have us take it. King of kings and Lord of glory. Now is the time, Lord. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us, oh God. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us, King of glory. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your power, Lord. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your glory. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your anointing. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your power. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your healing. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your promotion. Now is the time, Lord, to favor us with your deliverance. Now is the time, Lord, to set the captives free. Now is the time, Lord, to open the blind eyes, Lord. Now is the time, Lord, to open the deaf ears, Lord. Now is the time, Lord, to bring good news to the poor. Now is the time, Lord, to declare the day of the favor of the Lord. Now now is the time, King of Glory. Glory. 
Times of refreshing in your presence, Lord. Times of refreshing in your presence, Lord. Times of refreshing in your presence, Lord. Even now, King of Glory. Even now, Lord Almighty, 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 Lord
la merosi le boshi meleka le merosi melukote kozia somebody is beginning to feel a warmth in their stomach right now Le melo For Jesus you stood and shouted aloud yes. on the feast of Tabernacle. You promise that those that believe in you out of the innermost being we Rivers of life, the psalmist did say that there is that river, there is that river, whose waters make glad the city of the Lord. Flow, Holy Ghost, flow. Flow, Holy Ghost, flow. Cause your gladness to light up somebody's world is still. Oh, thank you. Oh, Oh, <laughs> Not by might, no sin but by my spirit, oh, thank you for this word. Thank you for this word. Thank you for this word. Somebody is wondering what is happening, but there is a flow What the <laughs> the spirit of the Lord just dropped something in my spirit. Just in case you may be wondering what's going on. Ecclesiastes 340. 
The preacher has a testimony. He says for whatever God does, it shall be forever. I don't know I'm speaking to somebody this morning. God is doing something in your life. But it shall be forever. It is not going to wither away with the morning. It is not something to last a week. It is not something to last a month. It is going to go through 2024. And it shall abide forever. Says the spirit of the living God. Listen to this. He adds nothing will be added to it. What he does is perfect. There is nothing can redefine it. There is nothing that will be added to it. It will be so perfect that it will stand by its own as a testimony in your life that this is what the Lord has done. The preacher goes on to say he just doesn't say that nothing will be added to it. But he says nothing will be taken from it. What God has for you, no one can even snatch an ounce. Not even the devil can touch. Because what God has signed for you is anointing. And he declares in his word, touch not my anointing. What he has given for you, what he has set aside for you, nothing will be taken from it. And the preacher goes on to say, God does this. Not a man. Not a pastor. Not a leader of any nation. He says God does this. That men should fear before He does it because it's God. He's going to do a work in your life that will have his signature point. He's going to do a work in your life that will not be denied. He's going to do a work in your life that men of all walks of life will ask is this not the son? Is this not the girl that grew up? The scriptures bear testimony. In Luke chapter 4, that Jesus went to Nazareth. Yes, where he was raised up. And he went into the temple. And there he was given a scroll. And he opened the book of prophet Isaiah. And found the place where it is written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
Ali kunze. Glory. Manda raba sete de boko sita laba. Laro sikeria. Manda Sense of God. Aba ule ba mukama. We need to grasp this. Chino oteke duo kuchikuwa atina dala. Because in John 14. Muyoka na kuminanya. Let me know so he tells us. Atugamba. He tells his disciples. That I will not leave you as orphans. I am going to give you. I am going to send to you. Another Alos Paracletos. Alos means another of the same kind. Another like him. Another who will take his place. That whatever Jesus was. He is. And he says he is called Paracletos. Allow me to indulge you in some Greek. Because Paracletos, the English have a poor version of interpretation. They call him the helper. The helper. But Palactetus is more than a helper. You see, you can have a benefactor abroad. And time and again, they send you some money. They are being helped to you. So they are a helper to you. But that is not what Jesus meant. When he talked about the Holy Spirit, he said he's paracletos. That means he's going to be a helper. Yes. But he's going to be a helper who will be with you. He will walk with you. In your challenges, he will be there. In your storms, he will be there. When life squeezes you into the corner, he will be with you. So he declares in another portion of scripture. That can a mother forsake a child and not have compassion upon the child of God? He says, Yes, they may. But I, the Lord, I will never leave you. No forsake you. He has sworn by himself that there will never be a moment. There will never be a second. There will never be a minute of a second. There will never be a minute in your life where he will leave you alone. You are not forsaken. You are not deserted. You are not alone. You have Paracletos with you. He's there with you when you wake up. He's there with you when the storms come around. He's there with you when the challenges of life come your way. He's there with you when people backbite you. He's there with you. When you don't know where to go, he's there with you. When you have no friend, he's there with you. When everybody has forsaken you, he's there with you. When life doesn't make sense, he's there with you. In the mess of life, he's there with you. In whatever circumstances. If 2024 is to be meaningful, 
2024 is to be a year that defines who you are. If 2024 will be the year when you stand out and stop blending. Three things have got to be critical. And these are the three things Jesus left with you. Number one, his name. Glory. See, his name is something you invoke in prayer. Sense of God. The time has come. When we stop calling on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He says the time is now. And you've not asked anything. Ask in my name. That your joy may be complete. The reason you're lacking the joy. You have forsaken the name. It is so strange. That we even try to appear politically correct. Oh, mighty God. Lord of Moses. The Lord of Joshua. The one who caused the walls of Jericho to fall. <coughs> Oh, the one who caused the stand to stand still. We call upon you. Guilty. In your mighty name. Which name are you invoking? Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. The one you need is the father. And the currency you need to get there is the name of Jesus. Because God has exalted him above every name. That are the name of the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Sense of God you have a name. La Rosute Kuzia. The third thing that will be your anchor in 2024 is the word of God. Chigambo Chia Katonda. Jesus put it this way. John 14, 23. He says, if you love me, this is what you will do. You will keep my word. And I love that. He is not saying if you love me, you will speak my word. No. He says, you will keep it. 
Keep it as a prized possession. Everywhere you go, you go with it. Everywhere you sit, you sit with the word. When you get to sleep, you are sleeping with the word. When you wake up, it is the word on your lips. When you meet the people, it is the word that you have for them. When you face the circumstances of life, it is the word you carry. Stop carrying words. The time has come for you to keep the word. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it flows the issues of life. For this is the word with the promise. He He says, says, if you keep my word, my father will love you. And he says, I and my father. Because you have kept the word as a prized possession. I and my father are going to come and make our home with you. You see, you are, you are missing the point. You are trying to go to this mountain, to this prophet looking for God. Keep the word. And God will come. Keep the word. God will come. Keep the word. Jesus yes. and his father will come to stay. Let us when the Spirit began to minister to me, he took me back to John 6, 63. Jesus says it is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. In other words, they operate in the spiritual realm. And they operate in the earthly realm. They operate in the spiritual realm to align things that are spiritual to align angels or to bring them on assignment. No wonder the psalmist says, Bless the Lord. You his angels. Psalm 103 20. You who work strong. You who do exploits. You who hear to the word of his power. Angels are on assignment. They are waiting to hear the word of God from a spirit-filled believer. And what does come out of you? Oh, my, oh, mommy. mommy. They will not stop. If what they are doing, and you have been doing by yourself, 
Why do they need to build it up again? They will still bring them up again. But they that know they are God shall wax strong. And the Bible says they shall do exploits. 2024. Say neighbor, 2024. Is my year for exploits. Hey. You see. Amen. You need to come to a point in your life where God's word about you becomes your word about you. Forgive my grammar in this text. But you have to come to a point in your life where what God has said to you is what you are saying to you about I, I know it's not making good grammar. But help me here. You have to come to a point in your life where what God has said to you is what you are saying to you. Jesus in Luke 4 after he had read the Bible says Bible he closed the book and handed it back. And all eyes were fixed on him. Verse 21 tells us he opened his mouth and said, Oh, glory. Not next week. Te yasubizanti mudde week eddako. Not next month. Te yabasubizanti chino mukome wo mwezo guna dako. Not next year. Te yabasubiza bali nde bidi abiri mutano. He said. Che yabagamba today. Kakano. Today. Lero. What you have had. This scripture that I just read is fulfilled. He has not healed any blind eye. He has not opened any damn mouth. He has not set any captive free. But he tells them, Today I believe that what has been said is fulfilled. I don't know about you. I believe it. This is fulfilled. In your hearing. And the Bible says they looked at him and said, Wait a minute. Is this not the son of the carpenter? How dare he? Ah, stand and say uh, that what God, God has said is fulfilled in his life. Sense of God. 
God. It is not up to everybody. God is not in a contest of getting a majority vote. Uh, 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 if you don't want to believe, that's okay for you. But I dare you to get a word in the scripture and believe it. No, not for tomorrow. Today, this is fulfilled in your hearing. I want to read you see, until that point, they were okay with him. But the moment he believed God so bad, they said, let's bring out your dad. Let's take you back to where you have come from. Let, 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 let's remind you of where you come <laughs> you, from. You, you, you are a carpenter's son. Yes, You cannot be a deliverer. <laughs> uh, carpenter's children are supposed to be carpenters. You see, when life looks at you, it looks at you based on where you have come from. And, and some of us are not comfortable taking us back to their history. You, you see, some of us have edited versions of our history. I, 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 I remember my first time to go to a takeaway. <laughs> I, I love takeaways. The, the reason I love them because the prices are there. So you cannot order more than what you have. And my first takeaway meal was chips and gravel. Chips. Gravy. Gravy. Chips. Soup. And gravy. Chipsi ngabantere deko supu azitoa. Now you, you are looking at me like you are pasta. Okay. Eh, now I'm musumba. Yeah, it was chips and gravy. Yali chipsi ne supu yo azitoa. Now some of you don't know what gravy is. Abamu chiganga yo chipiam matuga mu. But gravy is when they take out the meat. Gravy. <laughs> Bafumba, we have a lot of jam when you have a vegetable cup of bali. La mora kataribo. And they give you the soup. Kati, e chisiga decho, gavamazo kuzja when you have a way. Ye gravy. So you smell the soup. Kati gwe it has the smell of meat. So the smell <laughs> makes the chips palatable. It deceives the mind that you're actually eating the meat. It deceives the mind that you're actually eating the meat. And every time I walked into this takeaway, they knew my order. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
But there is a moment when God visits you. And turns around your captivity. That you go back to the same place. And you say it will be chips. And chicken. Njagala chips ne chicken. I know some of you are very comfortable. You have where you came from. But, but there is something I need to show you here. In which brings us to the theme of 2024. And the theme for 2024 is divine alignment. The scripture for that is Isaiah 54. Isaiah And I was struggling with the overseer. He sent you his greetings. He loves you and is praying for you. And soon you will see him. Don't ask me when. Don't ask me when. But here it is. The scripture says. So we are struggling. Which, which verse? Finally we agreed. It is the entire 17 verses. But, but let me help you understand something here. <laughs> About... Isaiah 54. For you to understand Isaiah 54, you need to go to a chapter before it. Otherwise, you take it in the context of Israel. But when you go to 53, then you get the picture that he's actually speaking to you. Because Isaiah 53 is an Emesianic chapter. God begins with a question. Narosika, and he asks, who has believed our God is asking the same question. Who has believed their report concerning what Jesus did. Who has believed that what Jesus did, he did it for you and I. Who has believed that God came down from heaven and was born in a manger? Forget the sophistication of a manger. He was born in a kraal. In the middle of a winter season. And the only thing he had was milk rags to wrap around his body. God came down. Put on flesh. So that he could take your place. And my place. He lived a righteous life and died on the cross. And he was buried and rose again from the dead. The question is, have you believed that report? 
wabukiriza For the scripture says, for he shall grow up. Before him, as a tender plant, as a root out of dry ground. He had no form. He had no calmness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire. He was despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows. Acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised. He was. We did not esteem him. But he says, surely he has borne our griefs. He has carried our sorrows. Yet we esteem him stricken. Smitten by God and He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are here. Who has believed this report. And once you have believed this report, Isaiah 54 makes sense now. Because it comes to us and says, Sing, O barren. It doesn't matter the circumstances of your life. He comes with a command. Because redemption has come. You don't have to see to believe it. You have to believe it to see it. Right now the sign of faith. In the face of faith. Fruitlessness. When nothing seems to make sense. When your back is against the wall. And your enemies have surrounded you. Open your mouth. And break forth in song. Open your mouth. And begin to give God praise. Open your mouth. And begin to glorify him. Open your mouth. And Lift the name of the Lord on high. Open your mouth. And magnify the Lord. David knew this secret. He said, oh magnify the Lord with me. You see, when you come to a point in your life. That in spite of what is surrounding you. You are opening your mouth to praise the name of the Lord. This is what will be happening in your life. You are going to see the Lord magnified. And Suddenly, what seemed to be like a mountain began to shiver before you. Sense of God. You do not have to begin to praise God. When your mountains begin to come down, that is the easier thing to do. The command here is sing. When it doesn't make sense. Sing. When your life seems unproductive. Sing. When you are producing so little. Sing. When the product of your life is the inferior one. Sing. When the results of your life are sneered at. Sing. When whatever you do. Seems to be coming to a loss in your life. 
your lives. Sin. When others seem to have gone ahead of you. And you seem to be catching up. Sin. When you have tried once. And it has has not worked out in your life. Break forth in song. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? Somebody who has been backed up. Your life is blown out. You are busted in life. The command from God. Sing. Sing when the state of your life doesn't make sense. Sing when life does not respond to you the way you are. Sing in the fruitful and fruitful seasons of your life. Begin to sing in the wilderness of your life. Sing when everything about you speaks in ability. Sing when you are going through the dry seasons of life. Sing when your dreams fail. Sing when your expectations don't come through as well. Sing when you don't see that breakthrough coming. Sing when the circumstances are rising up. And you have more questions than answers. And I have a witness out there. Sing when the enemy of your life is mocking you. Sing, sing, sing. You, you will have a testimony of people who sang. When Paul and, and Silas went into prison, we have the account in the book of Acts that in the midnight hour, they could have sat down and pitied. Parties. They could have sat down and begun whining. But this is what they did. They opened up their mouths. And out of their mouth came a voice of singing. Out of their mouth came a voice of exaltation. Out of their mouth with their hands shackled. With their feet shackled. Their mouth was not shackled. And their mouth shout burst out in song. And at the midnight hour, the cells did shake. And earthquake went through the prison. And the chains that bound them were broken. Sing out when it does not make sense. Can you magnify the Lord when everything around you seems to be caving in? David had this testimony. He said, I will worship towards your holy name. And praise your name. For your loving kindness and for your truth. Because you have magnified your name. In the day that I cried to you, you answered me. And made me bold in my soul. Saints of God, it is the moment to begin to break forth in song. Can you stand up on your feet and begin to declare that 2024 
is your year of singing. 2024. You are breaking forth with song. 2024. You are going to lift the name of the Lord on high. You don't have to feel like it. It does not have to make sense to you. But you will declare his praise. Because of who he is and what he has done in your life. Ankole de virunji na imba, ankole de virunji na tenda. Ankole de virunji na imba, ankole de virunji na tenda. Who say God has done great good things for me? Hey, 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 Go to Yamba Shani to turn the key. Uncle David Lunch in Naimba, Uncle David Lunch, Natenda. 